We'll begin solving this question by first drawing the surface normal. Now the surface normal is a vector that is perpendicular to the surface. And the surface in this case will be our hypotenuse of this triangle. The next thing I want you to do is direct your attention to these black lines right here. As you can see, we have two parallel black lines and they're cut by this transversal line. So this angle right here and this angle right here based on corresponding angles from geometry, this is going to be 45 degrees right here. Now based on the surface normal right here, we said that surface normals are perpendicular. That means 90 degrees. So right here in this area that I'm drawing, which should look like a right angle symbol, we know that this is going to be 45 degrees as well. Now, once again, direct your attention to these black lines that I have made right here. So if you recall from geometry, when you have intersecting lines, the opposite angles are congruent to one another, so they're equal. So this angle right here should be equal to this angle right here. Now the angle here that we're interested in, we're going to add 45 and we're going to add it to this theta right here. So we're going to do 45 plus 15 degrees. And you'll see why in a second. So now what I've gone ahead and done here is I've removed a lot of the markings on it so that we can fully concentrate on what we're interested in. So right here we have 60 degrees that's formed. The reason why we're interested in the 60 degree is because this ray, this blue line right here, is the refracted ray from the surface normal. And that happens to be 60 degrees. So the refracted angle is 60 degrees from the surface normal. What I've gone ahead here is I've rotated the image so that it looks much more similar to other Snell, Snell's law problems that you've encountered in the past. So as you can see here, this is the surface normal. This blue prism right here, this represents one medium that has a certain index of refraction. Now we're trying to find what the index of refraction for this prism is. And outside here, we see that this blue ray, it got bent yet again. And the medium in this white section right here is simply air. And we know the index of refraction for that is 1.000293. But for simplicity, we're just going to use one for our end value. So once again, just to describe the diagram, here we have the incident ray. It's coming into the prism. And this is N1. And it's 45 degrees from the surface normal. And it exits the prism at a 60 degree from the surface normal. So go ahead and apply Snell's law. We'll have N1 times sine of 45 is equal to 1 times sine of 60 degrees. We'll find that we'll get an index of refraction for the prism to be 1.22.